Hey everybody, welcome back to Rick's Car and Bike, and uh, we're trying to keep ourselves busy uh, with all this COVID-19 stuff going on, and everybody's stuck at their house and <clears throat> all that kind of thing. It's good to be busy and be doing stuff, so today what we're going to do is take this through a little bit of a, just had a low beam headlight go out on my uh, Volvo S60, and I'm just going to show you how to change that. Uh, my recommendation is, you know, try to get some stuff off Amazon. Um, I got a couple bulbs, uh, just regular 55 watt bulbs. Uh, the ones for the S60 are the H7 bulb, and uh, it cost me like 21 bucks, including shipping for two, so um, good price too. So I'm just going to quickly uh, go through and show you guys how to change those. And uh, then uh, remember, stay tuned. We're going to have the camshaft uh, seal, crankshaft seal video coming up for you very soon okay uh, enjoy and we'll catch up with you later hey folks gonna just get, do you a quick install here on uh, my volvo s60 uh, i'm gonna install a new low beam headlight and uh, you can see the new light there yeah. gotta make sure you don't touch the glass on it um, otherwise it shortens its life so gotta make sure of that there it is it's an h7 bulb um you can get them on amazon i got two for like 21 bucks and this one's halogen but it's a little bit brighter it's kind of a whiter light but not so intense that it blinds other drivers you don't need that with a low beam um, it's just irritating to people driving down the road um, so and then here's the black cap that goes on and I'm going to just uh, put it in here you can see here um, I'll show you there there's the wire the wire down here with the green wire on it and the little plug the light bulb just plugs into there and then you got to stick it down in the hole there okay so we'll get that done and uh, we'll catch up with you okay guys rick here from rick's car and bike and uh, i just want to show you guys how to adjust these headlights on the volvo s60 mine is a 2003 and uh, just replaced my low beam the other day and i think i showed you this another part of the video you just have to unscrew this counterclockwise pull this cap off and then in behind you'll find your bulb there's a little clip in there um, just unplug it release the clip put your new bulb in put that back it takes you about two minutes and then you might have to adjust the, your low beam okay uh, especially if you're getting brighter lights uh, please do that don't don't kill people with your uh, bright lights at night it's just crazy because then they can't see and it's dangerous for them so I hate driving into bright lights um, so if you're increasing the brightness of them, I don't. I put in the regular 55 watt and then I just use my high beams when I need to when there's nobody um, coming the other way so I don't blind them. Um, but just this adjuster here, what you have to do is take the top one here. What I do is I just grab my, um, my uh, little socket here and put it on a little extension and then use this hole. Shove it in this hole here and it goes right down there and uh, Put it on top, and then to uh, to lower it, to lower the beam, what you're going to do is turn this counterclockwise. Okay, so you're going to turn it in that direction, counterclockwise. If you want to raise the beam, you turn it the opposite way. And, of course, this little part's going to spin. So what I did was I used my left hand to turn the, the screwdriver there, the socket, and then I used this one just to kind of turn that one to help it a little bit, okay? Because it's, like it's a gear. It's on a gear and you want to kind of help it a bit so you don't end up stripping it out. Um, but real easy to do. I do it at night, of course. Turn the car on, put the lights on so you can see how high they are and just watch them come down so they're even with the other one. Okay? So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, and have a good day. And enjoy uh, getting those new lights working. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Morning. Rick here from Rick's Car and Bike. Well, heading off on another trip to get in some snowshoeing today. Well, look at this. As usual, wouldn't be a Volvo unless it had these lights on, would it? Let's see what I got. Service airbag. Uh, what's that? Oh yeah, what's that one? Yeah, alarm system service required because the battery and the alarm went dead and I'm too lazy to fix it. Uh, there's my message, Jack. Usual, usual stuff. <laughs> anyway, car runs perfect. Especially since I finished the camshaft and crankshaft seal, there's no oil leak at all. Woohoo! It's awesome. It's been, uh, I don't know, 4,000, maybe four or 5,000 kilometers since then. And uh, it's doing great. So it's now got, what, 223 or something. Anyway, we'll get that video out to you soon. Hopefully, I'll get that done in the next couple of days so you guys can uh, fix your cars and uh, get, get it back on the road. Okay, we'll talk to you later. You know what? It's a great day out. 
Let's go for a ride. Your love is rated X. That means you're extra, extra.